In this video, I'm going to give you the best way to repair your credit, and I'm also going to show you how to increase your credit like I did, jumping from 600 to about 780. I understand that little credit score can basically control your entire life. It can control where you live, what kind of house you buy, what type of terms you get, what kind of car you're driving. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you what your credit score actually means, what goes into it, all the different types of factors, and ultimately how you can increase that. If you're excited, hit that like button for me so more people can see this and help their credit situation as well if you don't know what your credit score is it's basically just a little number that dictates you know what kind of terms you're gonna get what type of financing all these different things are dictated based off of your credit score so it's very important to keep track of what your credit score is and ultimately how to increase that if it's low now your credit score is made up of several different things that's going to be your credit utilization your mix of credit your payment history your different types of credit and your credit link let's start with some basics your credit score what that is actually is basically a bunch of different factors that come up to make that magical number known as your credit score these factors can be your credit utilization if you don't know what that is basically take if you have a credit card of two thousand dollars so that's how much you can spend that's how much your credit card is worth and you spend a thousand dollars of that two thousand dollars your credit like utilization is fifty percent another big factor is obviously going to be your payment history have you made your payments on time another factor is going to be your length of credit your credit mix and and the length of your credit history. This means that your credit score is based off of your trustworthiness, how good of a borrower you are. So whenever lenders are seeing your credit score, they know, oh, the higher the number, the more trustworthy and the better rates we're going to give them, the more confidence we feel like we can lend to him and he will pay us back. This is why if you have a lower credit score that your rates are gonna be higher than someone with a higher credit score is because obviously that something's happened in your past to make sure that made your credit score go down. So this is gonna be on your credit history history so now that other lenders are going to see that and not feel as confident about lending out to you therefore they're going to be increasing the rates on now that i got that out of the way let's start repairing your credit so you can ultimately increase your credit score the first thing that you can do is you can look at your credit report just go to credit karma you can dial the app go to the website etc take a look at your credit report and see if anything is an error for example you could take a look at your payment history and see like oh yeah i've actually made all my payments or i haven't made all my payments I only missed one well you can also get that repaired too if you've missed a payment if you want to fix those errors and increase your credit score i highly suggest you go over to the guys at creditrepairmagic.com there's going to be a link in the description down below this video to take you to their website they helped me increase my credit score about 150 points plus so i went from a 600 credit score to a 780 credit score all by doing the things that they give you they're going to give you tools they're going to give you guides they're going to give you templates and blueprints for you to fix your your credit if you do decide to check them out i'm gonna be honest with you it's gonna take a lot of work because that's what happened for me anyways it took me a lot of work to fix my credit utilizing their templates their blueprints etc but it was super easy it just took a little bit of time but at the end your credit score is going to increase i'm not saying that you're going to get a 150 point boost in your credit score by utilizing them but that's what happened with me so if you want to again that link is going to be in the description down below to go check out the guys at credit repair magic the second way to repair your credit and i think it's a pretty obvious one is to make all your payments on time your payment history so making payments on time is one of the biggest things when it comes to your credit score it actually takes up about 35 percent of the overall credit score so it's crucial that you make these payments on time if you miss one or two again you can go over to the guys at credit repair magic and they can also help you dispute some of those things and again that link to them is gonna be in the description down below this video it's also gonna be above my head i'm recommending these guys to you because they helped me out whenever it came to increasing my credit so that's why i'm telling you guys about them something that you can be doing in order for you to not miss a payment or two is by setting up auto automated payments or reminders so you can actually pay those bills. Whenever I had a missing payment, that was because I had an annual fee on one of my credit cards and that annual fee obviously came due. I didn't notice that it came due and I fell behind about 60 days. So that obviously affected my credit score. It showed I was late on my payment and I want to be full transparent with you guys. So it actually decreased my credit score by about 50 points. That's why I'm telling you that your payment history really does matter and if there are ways to to get it off your credit history, you need to be doing that. The third way to increasing your credit score is by paying down your debt. Now I know what you're thinking, this is probably 
obviously, yeah, I'm paying down my debt every single month, but this, hear me out for just a second. This is what I want to tell you about. Like I mentioned earlier, something about your credit utilization. Your credit utilization plays a big factor in your credit report. So here's what I want you to do. This is something that I did. I got from the guys at Credit Repair Magic. Something that you can do is you can take up all of your credit cards. You can put them into a personal loan. So here's a personal story for me. I had about $12,000 worth of credit card debt and I was, you know, 24, 25, 26% interest rates. But whenever I learned about putting all these credit cards on a personal loan, my interest rate became 10, 12, like 10 to 12%. Right there, I was reducing the amount of interest that I was having to pay to people. And on top of that, I was spending about $500 a month of minimum payments on my credit cards. Now, whenever I put all those credit cards onto a personal loan, my payments were now 282. So I was saving $200 roughly right then and there not only that but on top of that my credits were jumped by about 50 points because your credit utilization is going down whenever i did this my credit cards are basically maxed out you know i had about 100 200 of wiggle room but they were essentially maxed out so whenever i reduced all my credit cards to zero percent my credit utilization obviously went down so my credit score went up another thing that i want you to do to help out your credit score to increase your credit score is don't be closing out old accounts just because you're not using one of your credit cards anymore doesn't mean you should close it out because this is going to affect your credit length. This is something that I did that actually really hurt my credit score by about 20 points is I had a credit card from back whenever I was 16, 17, 18, whenever my mom gave me a credit card to use, etc. I was using this credit card to boost up my credit score because my mom told me that's exactly what I need to do. Then about five, six, seven years later after that, I was like, oh, I'm not using this credit card anymore. Let me just close out that account. Well, what happened? My credit score dipped because this obviously really affected my credit link because I had this credit card for five, six, seven years, whereas I didn't have another credit card for like another three or four years. So what this means is I lost about two years credit length. So now it looks like that my credit history, the length of it all is shorter than it actually was. Something that you also need to know is on top of this, you need to stay on top of these accounts because some companies will actually close out these accounts automatically. You need to be sure that that doesn't happen because they'll close it out because it hasn't been used in X amount of time. That's why you need to make sure that you're staying on top of it because you don't want these accounts to be closed and it affects your credit score in the future. Another way to increase your credit score, let's say that your credit score is so bad that you can't even get a credit card, you can't get a personal loan, etc. So what can you do? You can get a secured credit card. What this is going to allow you to is you're going to get a credit card, but you're going to put up some money to the bank to use as collateral. So let's say you have $1,000 and you want a credit card for $1,000. You're going to give that $1,000 in cash that you have sitting in the bank, you're going to give it to the credit card company and say, hey, I have this money, can you please give me a credit card of $1,000 so I can start building up my credit. So what happens is if you don't make your payments, the credit card company is going to take that $1,000 that you gave them and use it as collateral. The next way to increase your credit score, repair your credit score is obviously just to be patient because it's going to take some time for your credit score to first of all update second of all to fix because whenever you're making these disputes you're trying to fix all your credits etc it's going to take some time so please be patient but while you're being patient you also need to be consistent you need to be making your payments on time you need to be checking your score to make sure that there's no errors and following other best practices to eliminate debt so your credit utilization is going down and doing some best practices for credit management so the guys at credit repair magic they'll teach you everything about your credit management so you're able to stay on top of your credit report. Another way that you can increase your credit score, it kind of indirectly increases your credit score, is by going to a credit counselor or going to some type of service like Credit Repair Magic or having someone else do it for you. Again, I highly suggest the Credit Repair Magic because that's who I use. They didn't only help me do this and give me the blueprints and templates on how to do things, they help me understand credit and they help me understand why it's important and how to stay on top of it. So if you're struggling with debt, if you're struggling with your credit report, I highly suggest you getting a credit counselor, et cetera, service, whatever. To wrap it all up, again, big five things that take up your credit score are your credit utilization, your payment history, your length of credit, the credit mix, and your new credit. So these five things are gonna make up your entire credit score. You need to be sure that you're on top of all five of these in order to have a good credit score so you can get the best rates, you can get the best terms, you can get lower 
payments. Like I said, if you're struggling with some debt, I do have some experience with struggling with debt and getting out of debt. I wanted to make a video for you specifically and help you get it out of debt, specifically creating a budget to get out of debt because ultimately that's the solid foundation in order to get out of debt. So if you're interested, there's gonna be a video pop up on your screen right now that shows you exactly how to create a budget so you can become financially free in the future. But until the next video, I'm out, see ya.